When chromium chloride, CrCl2, is dissolved in water, the temperature of the water decreases. Is the heat of solution endothermic or exothermic? So when I have a beaker of water and I dissolve chromium chloride in it, the temperature of the water goes down. What this means is it requires a net input of energy to dissolve the chromium chloride. The energy comes from the water. So energy is coming from the water in order to make this dissolving process happen. So if you remember, there's three steps in the dissolving process. We have to break the ionic bonds. We have to break the hydrogen bonds. We'll call them H bonds. And then we form new bonds. This takes energy from the water. This takes energy from the water. And this releases. So what we're trying to say is the energy that it takes to break the bonds is greater than the energy that is released from the formation of new bonds. So there is a net loss of energy by the surroundings or the water. Therefore, the temperature goes down. And that indicates, indicates that this is an endothermic reaction. Part B says, which is stronger, the attractive forces between water molecules and the ions, or the combined strength of the ionic bonds and the intermolecular forces between the water molecules? Explain. Well, again, when you dissolve anything, there's three processes. In this case, we have chromium ions. It's chromium let me back up here. We have, make this bigger, chromium ions, chromium 2 plus, and cl chloride ions. We have to break that bond, and that takes energy. We also have to break the hydrogen bonds between water molecules, which is looks something like that. We have to break those. So that takes a certain amount of energy. The only bond we are forming then is bonds between the chromium ion and water. And the chloride ion and water. Now we already know that in this particular case this takes more energy to break than is released when these are formed because of the fact that this is endothermic. So that implies that these bonds are stronger overall than these bonds. So when it asks which is stronger, the stronger is the harder to break or the bonds that require the most energy. So Stronger bonds equals more energy to break them. And that's how you can explain what's going on here.